Right then, everyone. Manchester United 3, Leicester 0. Another huge three point for Ruud van Nistelrooy. He ends his time at Manchester United unbeaten with three wins and one draw. A great time for him and ultimately a great team performance today. I don't think there was one player who played bad. You look at some of the goals we scored today. It could have been a tough game for Manchester United. Another great three points for United. We're only three points now, our fifth place. Um, and we've got a zero goal difference. That is positive. Three great goals scored today. And ultimately, an overall good performance. You look at Manchester United. Um, a wonderful goal by Alejandro Garnacho. I mean, what a way to kind of prove and, and silence your critics. He's had quite a tough few days with what's been going on. I think he, he had a great performance when he came on. I think Ahmad again was fantastic. I think the whole team is really, really good. In midfield, we limited Leicester to absolutely nothing. And we really did make a big statement of ourselves. As I said, a big, big three points. And we move on. Obviously, the Amarim era will begin. We've got international break now. It's always nice to go into an international break with a win. Um, and yeah, ultimately a very, very good performance, one that I'm very, very happy with. There were obviously some issues, but majority of the game, Manchester United did dictate. Um, it was a game where we had large amounts of control in it, 100% um, sort of belief by players, and some players did fantastically well. I thought Ugarte was absolutely fantastic today in midfield. Casemiro as well, defensively didn't concede. Anana made some good saves. Um, I thought the press was good at times. It was organised and structured. And I think we did have a good performance as a team. You look at United recently, we have struggled in certain games and we have found it difficult to find that momentum and that cutting edge. I think there was a bit more intensity today. Yes, it did kind of um, go out towards the end of the game. But ultimately, it was performance that needed. Great by Garnacho. Ahmad was fantastic. I mean, that goal by Garnacho was fantastic. We're not even talking about the captain, Bruno Fernandes. I mean, one fantastic goal, which was well worked by Ahmad as well with a great assist. Um, an assist for Garnacho, um Had a great part to play in that goal as well. Um, the one which was an own goal. Like Bruno's performance was fantastic. And that's the Bruno we know. I think he did play a lot deeper today, which allowed him to pick up the ball and get involved in that sort of thing. I thought everyone's sort of recoveries and duels. Um, in terms of defensively, I thought Masrawi, he looks absolutely fantastic. One of the bargains of the summer. Um, for £12 million, pounds, he was absolutely fantastic, but a great cross-in, something that United haven't seen. Hoyland as well to get rid of Vestergaard, and Bruno obviously finishes it off. Or the home goal, um, absolutely fantastic. I think Masrawi has been brilliant. I think Delo did struggle today. Fatou did kind of get the best of Delo and get the better of Delo. Um, and that makes that made a big decision for Rude to make, and I think he did make the correct decision early on. He couldn't afford to kind of them to concede a goal. I think it was a very, very smart substitution to bring off the low and bring on Johnny Evans and move Masrari out to right back because Masrari kept him absolutely quiet. Um, in terms of midfield, I think we were very, very good. We did limit Leicester to literally virtually nothing. Um, as I said, every time they would have a touch on the ball, we would go in, make sure we would get the ball. And it was absolutely fantastic. As I said, another great three points for Manchester United. And we continue to build momentum. We keep going. Um, we've got some... Obviously, Amarin will be coming in. I think he'll be happy with that. Obviously, we'll have some sort of information on what's going on with Rude Van Nistelrooy as well. So there are positive times at Manchester United and it certainly is a game and a result you can be happy with. Um, yeah, Garnacho was, was absolutely fantastic. Rude Van Nistelrooy. Um, yeah, ab absolutely fantastic. Is this the last of Rude? I hope not. Um but yeah, honestly, so happy with the result and such a great performance. Um, when City losing, it was important for Manchester United to win. I mean, Ugarte, again, another one. It'd be so interesting to see his pivot in midfield. Um, I want to talk about Ericsson. Um, Ericsson as well, he played a great pass when he came on. Um, no look pass to, to help to help Bruno and really start off that goal as a counter-attack finish. I think negatively, I think Hoyland did struggle. There were times where the game was a bit end-to-end, -end, but if you look at Rude, four games, undefeated, three wins, and leaves United one point behind Spurs, three behind Villa, three behind both Chelsea and Arsenal, with them playing later today. Couldn't ask for more from Rude in this period of interim. That's absolutely correct. Um, I think... Garnacho, fantastic. Four points off fourth. Goal different back to zero. Ahmad is a starter. Um... Very, very good interim period. Um, and again, Rude won this door, a great servant to the club and did massively help us out. Before Rude won win in eight games, after Rude three wins in four games, 11 goals, scored two clean sheets, four points from possible six in the league and our first Europa League win. Like, Rude did massively help us. Um, 
In terms of positives from this game, if you want to look at um, Ahmad, Maswari and Bruno with the three excellent players, Ugarte was really good, ground coverage, ball win. And one thing I like about Ugarte, he keeps it smart and simple. Simple passes out wide. He may, like I think he can drive with the ball, but he keeps it very simple. Overall, we lacked intensity, even with the win. It feels like we didn't really move from first gear. Um, needed more from Rashford than Hoyland. Rashford could have taken more risks. Hopefully that competence and Amrin because I rate like they they're two good players. Garnacho scored a great goal and always makes an impact off the bench. Um, and he has performed in well. Top goal scorer, top assister, fantastic. And um, Dallo one v one defended. Obviously, what to talk about was a bit shaky, but a solid moment for Amrin. Obviously, he was watching this game and he will talk about this. Um, I think my, um. Maswari, fantastic as well. I think Zerg when he came off, I think he did have a decent impact. Um, it was it was very, very good today. And, and I'm very, very, very happy. Um, like just thanks, Van Nistelrooy. Um, I mean, Tottenham lost as well. Um, but what a finish. That Garnacho one was fantastic. Um, and yeah, very... Very, very happy with this performance. A lot of positives, a lot to improve on still under Amarim. I think he will take that. But again, overall, the players did fantastically well. Um, and I'm very, very, very happy with the performances. As I said, midfield, defensively attack. We were all very, very good. Onana made some good saves. And yeah, we did relatively well. And I'm confident under Amarim that we will achieve that. Van Nistelrooy did settle it, settle the ship for us. Um, fingers crossed we can keep him at the club because... Listen, I hope this is not the end um, for Manchester United. I thought Maswari as well was fantastic. Did, we didn't lose in his interim time. And the Amram era begins. Um, absolutely fantastic. Bruno, for me, was fantastic. Rude and beaten. Amram era to begin. Like, brilliant. And we move. Great three points. Build momentum. Garnacho win the goal. I thought Ugarte was superb. Um... And what a way to kind of silence the critics, but yeah, very, very, very good. Captain Bruno, um, and that's something you can also say as well. I think his captain's performance was absolutely fantastic. It was a it was a performance that showed leadership in a game which we could have struggled and could have made it difficult for ourselves. But again, three points, we move on. Um, very, very good performance by United. We we have struggled at times this season and if you look at the stats in the game they are massively in Manchester United's favour I'm assuming I'll have a look at them now but again every player did well and it was a great performance to improve on I think there's been a great couple of weeks at United now obviously Rude steadying the ship being into him um, we got Amarim to look forward to but again 51% possession for United and there was times where we did struggle obviously 13 shots to their six Um, like it was a very good performance and yeah, defensively relatively good. Midfield was fantastic. I think that relationship will be very interesting to see what Amarim will do. Um, because Ugarte for me has to start and he has improved fantastically. Um, will it be Mainu? Will it be Casemiro? We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully Casemiro is not injured. Rashford again struggled. Bruno was fantastic and an overall relatively good team performance. It's all about improving on this. Um, we're one point behind Spurs. Like it is. Listen, we've had a poor start to the season. Um. Like, we've won four, drawn three, and lost four. But, again, ultimately, it's about can Manchester United take this next next step and see what really does happen in Amram, that Ipswich game, which will be his first game, will be a tough game. But I'm hoping he will bring the goods. Thank you for watching. My man of the match has to be um, Bruno Fernandes. I thought he was fantastic. But among others, I think Maswari was good. Um, I think the whole team, Ugarte, I think he, get, he can get a contender as well. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Peace.